Definitely keep an eye on this. Come on, roll, you bastard. <laughs> keep an eye on that. Oh, go on. <laughs> no way. Yeah, welcome back to Grits Nighty Night. I uh, didn't think I was going to make it back to the uninitiated, the intro. Go to my previous video and what you'll find is a hole in one on the foot golf. Now I have been able to bang on a bit about the foot golf, I know, but you know, it's a passion of mine. So to pull out a hole in one, my son now, as you can imagine, it was a magic moment. And he reacted in, uh, you know, in the perfect manner by uh, calling me a twat. So that's great, yeah. Now, I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to talk about, you know. I'm, uh... Uh, right, I don't want to get depressing yet, but, you know, since the uh, last Lonely Doll Act, it's been quite a long time. And, uh, you know, I haven't been that... Uh, what you call my best, but uh, so I don't want to go too, you know, too, too personal, too deep, whatever, at this stage of the comeback. But I do want to tell you a little story I remember the other day, which is quite amusing. Ah, uh, well, possibly if I can relay it properly. Now, you may remember when I used to work in uh, young Nev's place, and I used to get a lift to work with my mate. I be very careful I don't mention any names now. I used to get a lift to work with my mate on an almost daily basis. And he had this ongoing drama uh, with his missus. You know, which he'd always uh, discuss with me during our commute. Now, as I recall, I think he thought she was... Uh, playing away, you know, with a work colleague. Their relationship had sort of broke down. Communication was at an all-time low. And on a daily basis, you know, he'd be telling me what was going on, etc. And, uh, you know, it sounded to me like uh, something untoward was happening, you know, and uh, I didn't like to say too much to him, you know. Obviously, he's going to make his own decisions. But it didn't look good from what he told me. So anyway, one day he phoned me. He said, um, he said, pick me up from the house. He said, oh, can you uh, meet me down by the leisure centre? I'll pick you up from that. So I headed down there. He pulls up, jump in the car. And uh, it was just this weird atmosphere in the car. I thought, oh, he's probably been arguing with her again, you know. So I just said hello to him. It was just silence, you know. And... Uh, about a minute later, he pulls over. I thought, what's he doing? Next thing, his missus, who I didn't even know was in the car, jumps out of the back. He was obviously giving her a lift somewhere. She jumped out. They didn't say a word to each other. And I say, I had absolutely no idea she was in the car. And when I got in, I very, very near... It was weird, because, you know, I don't know what stopped me. But when I got in the car, I very, very nearly said to him, have you fucking got rid of that fucking slag yet? Ah, uh, so as you can imagine, I was mightily relieved that I didn't, because uh, said potential slag was sitting about four inches behind me in the car. And I just hadn't noticed it when I got in. Hell of a story, eh? Hell of a story. Anyway, we'll be back soon, right? Look after yourselves.